Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what a $500 a month studio in Bangkok looks like. And um, this is with the one year lease. So you have to be here long term. You can't get this price on the Airbnb, but uh, have a look around and see what you get here. You got your nice little mini fridge, in room washer, microwave, little sink, electric stove. This is uh, one of the closets. It's not very big, but it's enough for one person for sure. Some of your stuff here. Totally modern restroom. I like the shower. Another uh, drawer here for your clothes. A lot of mirrors around to keep the light. You get this big sliding door here too. This is good for uh, keeping the air conditioner going. Cools the room a lot quicker and keeps the sound up. Small little table for eating and working. Cute little couch here. Nightstand, king size bed. That's the, the main swimming pool. And I'm on the 10th floor, so 10th floor swimming pool, view of the city. I mean, right around me here is the, the move-in pick-in, I think it's called, hotel. Right here is the Citrus. Madison's right across the way. Ambassador Hotel next door. I mean, how much are you gonna pay a night at one of these hotels? It's gonna be crazy high. And I'm paying 500 bucks for my studio. Comes with a big flat screen TV, AC. Another uh, table here that you could work from. Hardwood floors. I mean, this place is nice. Very nice. Also show you some of the, um, uh, the workout room. And there's a co-working space, kind of like an office area. So uh, let's go ahead down there. All right, so right behind me is the open area here. There's rooms that face outwards, like my room, and there's ones that face inwards, and these are the inward ones. And these rooms are actually a little bit smaller, but they're still pretty cool. And then if you look up top, there's an opening in the roof area where the water comes down when it's raining into the pool. And it's a really shallow pool, it's just for decoration. I just got caught outside in the rain. Check it out. This is pouring. Pouring out there. And then just around the doors here is the way to the co-working space. Here's the manager's office. I mean, it's like a hotel. It's like a fancy hotel. They did a really nice job with the interior design. But check it out. Sweet. Then it's got this little uh, kids room, yoga room, whatever. You can actually see the master hotel over here. All right, let's go have a look at the gym area now. So it's pretty nice, you got pretty much everything you need. One more floor up to the swim pool.
I mean, how awesome is that? And then you saw my room. My room's got the swimming pool view. It's actually this one here. And you can have a look at the building here. And like I said, next door here is, is the hotel. And they actually have like uh, DJ roof parties on the weekends and stuff. All right, maybe I'll show you one last, one last view over here. So down there, they actually have uh, fights once a month, little Muay Thai fights, and it gets pretty packed. So you can buy a ticket, hang out, watch the fights, have some beers. So that's pretty fun. Like I said, this is the Ambassador Hotel. It's huge. It starts from over there, stretches across, comes up here. That's the new Hyde building next door is Trendy. This is 15 Sukhumvit residence. So if you're looking for a place to stay in Bangkok, this area is awesome. So this is Soy 13. Other side of the building here, Soy 15. Right across here, Soy 11. One of the main uh, tourist party areas. A lot of restaurants, bars, a lot of night nightlife activity, and dance clubs. But that's it. I hope you liked my little tour. $500 studio, seriously. I mean, how much would something like this cost in San Francisco? <laughs> I don't even want to guess. But, um, it's totally worth it. So if you get a long-term stay in Thailand, get a lease, get an apartment, and you'll be a happy camper. Peace.